how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel in today's video i'll be comparing three popular android skins we have the latest and greatest galaxy s24 ultra which is running the one ui 6.1 we also got the oneplus 12 that has the oxygen os 14 and finally we have the latest flagship from google which is the pixel 8 pro with pixel ui guys if you love watching these kind of comparison videos and want to support my work then don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. It would mean a lot to me. Now first let's start off with the always on display. Obviously all these devices support always on display and in addition to this, all these offer some extra customization. In OnePlus you get a lot of unique clock styles. You can create your own animated avatar and set it on your always on display. You can add some custom patterns. We also got the canvas layout and there are some really cool looking AOD styles that changes dynamically according to your weather. Not only this, you can also see real-time updates about your food delivery and other services directly on your always on display. So you actually get a couple of useful features on Oxygen OS 14. Moving on to the Pixel UI, even though we do not have much customization, I really like how the clock blends from the lock screen to the always on display. Just look at this transition, it looks really really smooth. Finally, if we talk about Samsung, in the latest One UI 6.1, if we go inside the always on display, here we do not have the option to choose different clocks and we cannot add stickers and GIFs. In order to do that, you need to go to the theme store and download some cool looking themes to customize your always on display. Apart from this, you now have the toggle to show your lock screen wallpaper just like iOS. And there is this new option called Erase Background that shows only the main subject by removing the background and this works with pictures that have people or animals as the main subject. So these are some unique AOD features in the One UI 6.1. Now in terms of lock screen customization, both One UI and Pixel UI offer some amazing features. You can customize the clock and choose from a variety of different styles. You can adjust the size, change the color and position of the clock. You can add different shortcuts to the lock screen and do lot more. Additionally in Pixel UI, you get this now playing feature that identifies and shows the name of a song playing around you in your lock screen. I think it's a pretty useful feature which is available only on Pixel devices. So both Samsung and Pixel has some great features when it comes to lock screen customization. Now OnePlus doesn't provide you with many options. You get this default clock which you cannot customize and there is no way to add some useful widgets to your lock screen which is only possible in One UI 6.1. I do like how you can access multiple shortcuts by just long pressing the fingerprint scanner but apart from this, we don't have any other interesting feature and I hope OnePlus will bring some lock screen customization in the upcoming Oxygen OS 15. Right now, it is nowhere close to what Samsung and Pixel offers in terms of lock screen customization. In home screen, all three support dynamic theming but I am a huge fan of Pixel material design and I think this is by far the best color palette option I have seen in any Android phone. Even though we have similar options in Oxygen OS and One UI, I would still say Pixel UI has the best implementation of Material U design where everything matches and blends perfectly with the wallpaper that you have applied on your home screen. Now despite having such a beautiful design language, Pixel UI misses out on some basic customization features. Where One UI and Oxygen OS has so many options like changing the icon pack, applying different themes, customizing the quick settings layout. And we also have this useful edge panel that lets you easily access your favorite apps and shortcuts from anywhere on your phone. Now OnePlus sidebar is even more powerful which allows you to save text and images to the file dock and you can simply drag items from the dock and share it with your friends in different apps without wasting your time. Guys, Pixel UI doesn't offer any such options and even for doing some basic tasks like changing the icon pack, you need to install some third party launcher from the Play Store. The quick settings panel looks different on all three skins and I know the UI is subjective, you can surely have your own opinion which you can comment down but I would definitely go with One UI here in terms of design and functionality. I think Samsung did a great job followed by Pixel and then the OnePlus. Even the media controller on both Samsung and Pixel looks absolutely stunning. Whereas we still have this boring looking media controller on OnePlus which really looks quite outdated to me. Apart from this, if I go into the widget section, I think One UI and Pixel UI look less cluttered. They don't show all the widgets in one place like the Oxygen OS. Instead, you just need to select a specific app and it will show all the widgets related to that app or settings. Not only this, you can also stack widgets in One UI. So you can combine all your favorite widgets and keep your home screen neat and clean. Moving on, let's talk about the user interface and the system animations. In OnePlus and Samsung devices, when I access my quick settings or even when I open the app drawer, I really like the blur effect that we get in the background. 
You can see how the app icons pop on the app drawer because of the blur that we have in the background. Similarly, if I go into the phone settings, the settings layout in Pixel UI looks clean and minimal, but the Oxygen OS and One UI has better readability thanks to these vibrant icons. Now even when I open the recent apps, One UI has this 3D layout which makes the application pop right in front of you and it looks much better in terms of visibility. Here one thing that I really like about OnePlus is that you can quickly access all your recent apps with the help of these app icons at the bottom. It actually makes the UI feels much faster and snappier. Now let's talk about animations. Guys I have compared these phones side by side and trust me when I say this, OnePlus has the smoothest animation followed by the Pixel and One UI. Definitely Samsung has come a long way and they have improved the animations in the One UI 6.1 but still there is a noticeable difference and it just doesn't feel as smooth as the Oxygen OS or even the Pixel UI. Next if we talk about software support on these phones, since these are flagship devices, Samsung and Google are offering 7 years of security and software updates which means these phones will be getting Android 21 and that is just amazing. Now OnePlus is still lacking behind with just 4 years of OS updates and 5 years of security patches. So if you want a phone for a longer period of time, then you can go with Samsung or Pixel. Apart from this, both Samsung and Pixel offer a lot of cool AI features which are missing on OnePlus phones. And especially One UI 6.1 has a lot more features which I am unable to cover in this video. It has features like Bixby routines, Dex support, chat and voice translation, and we also got applications like GoodLock that helps you customize your phone to the next level. Overall, I think Samsung is feature packed and it has so many useful features that are missing in other Android devices. So if you really want to try all these exciting features and at the same time, you want a better software experience with 7 years of software support, then you can definitely go with One UI. Now if I have to rank these Android skins, then I'll keep Samsung in the first place followed by Pixel and then OnePlus. That's pretty much it for this video. Do let me know in the comment section which is your favorite Android skin. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.